Staying on campus, higher education and can be time consuming and also expensive, with students racking up tens of thousands of dollars in student loan debts. MTN's John Amy has more on a higher education alternative. The trade labor workforce is aging and retiring quickly, and there's need for new blood. They figured by the year 2025, we'll need 14 million machines. Highlands College of Butte recently received a $10,000 grant from the Gene Haas Foundation to pay for scholarships for students in the machining program to meet the demand for more skilled workers. And the industry is starting to lose to lose some of these highly skilled individuals and so we're now trying to gear up to kind of meet those needs. Two-year trade schools are appealing to students who don't want the time and debt it takes for traditional four-year college and more non-traditional and female students are enrolling in trade school. I've actually been offered a couple jobs already when I'm done with school and they said that they'd be able to hire me right away. So. I have a four-year degree. I can quote Shakespeare, but I have no idea what this machine can do. But the students here at Highland College are learning important manufacturing skills, skills that can make them a lot of money. We've had uh, people come in and tell us they're willing to start our guys, pay up to 30, maybe $40 an hour. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.